Did a state representative's chief of staff have anything to do with the controversial Hangar 42 movie studio project in suburban Walker? It's an interesting development in a story that Target 8 investigator Henry Erb has been following. And Henry joins us in studio with the latest. This latest dose of controversy comes from a YouTube video of Grand Rapids political consultant Noah Seifele giving a speech on economic development in Chicago last year. He's State Representative Robert Dean's top staffer, and last month was assigned by Dean to see why the proposed $10 million state tax credit for Hangar 42 Studio was held up. Uh, in the video, which vanished from YouTube after a Grand Rapids press reporter asked questions, Saifala appears to make himself a player in an unnamed movie studio project, the details of which sound a lot like what's unfolded in the Hangar 42 controversy. He's explaining how to use the state film infrastructure tax credit to make his point that government can help business development if you know the laws and rules. I'm buying a building from one of my partners for $50 million. To get the building, it costs us $4 million. The 20% tax credit will provide us $12.5 million. So how much the building cost us? We made a profit off the state. And you get the $12.5 million when you sign the papers. In a statement of the press, Seifola said he really has nothing to do with the Hangar 42 project or any other studio deal that, in effect, it was just empty bragging on his part. Seifola does not show up in any of the official paperwork about Hangar 42 that's publicly available. He has, in the past, been a consultant for developer Jack Buchanan, Jr., the man who put the Hangar 42 deal together. Even if Seifola is not a real player in the deal, his speech shows that he might know something about how the Hangar 42 tax break was supposed to work. Seifel's numbers are a little off, but close to those of the Hangar 42 deal. Buchanan's company paid $4.1 million for the old factory property on Alpine, and it's been claiming the studio after renovation is worth $40 million, a figure critics allege is inflated, but which makes it eligible for a $10 million tax credit. And the deal Seifler describes suggests just such an inflated price made possible by selling the property from one partner to another, while the real price is a lot less. It appears the actual Hangar 42 tax break may be dead or diminished due to all the controversy, but what's really going on is unknown because of government secrecy surrounding the tax credit the state claims is required by law.